The term metabolic syndrome refers to a group of disorders that increase a person's risk of atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, insulin resistance diabetes mellitus, and vascular and neurological consequences such as cerebrovascular accident. In this video, we will discuss the pathophysiology, complications, and causes of the metabolic syndrome and treatment goals in this condition. So, let's get started. This is a name we give to a group of conditions together. They raise your risk for heart disease, diabetes, and stroke. Five conditions make up this syndrome. They are a large waistline, high blood pressure, high blood sugar, and a high level of triglycerides, a type of fat found in your blood, and a low level of HDL cholesterol, that is the good cholesterol. You can develop this syndrome if you don't stay healthy. It's more common in people who are overweight or obese. People who are not active have a higher risk. You can also develop it if you have insulin resistance. Now that's a problem with the way your body uses insulin. Your risk for metabolic syndrome gets higher as you get older. It's linked to certain genetic factors. It's also linked to problems such as gestational diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Other than a large waistline, you may not notice any symptoms, but eventually you may develop diabetes or high blood pressure. If so you may notice symptoms of those conditions, with diabetes that can include excessive thirst or urination, fatigue, and blurred vision. With high blood pressure that can include headaches, dizzy spells, and nosebleeds. For the diagnosis, treatment, and prevention of disease, a history and physical examination are necessary. The first indicators of a probable disease, such as hypertension, dyslipidemia, and metabolic syndrome, are the patient's vitals and general appearance. Although there is no known genetic group that is predisposed to the metabolic syndrome, there are genetic diseases that may make people more likely to experience insulin resistance and the development of the metabolic syndrome. A patient should therefore be examined about any suspected genetic problems of this nature. Additionally, a social and lifestyle history should be gathered because there are a number of modifiable factors that can have a big impact on how the metabolic syndrome develops. Treatment of the disorders causing metabolic syndrome should be the main focus of management, along with potential risk factor reversal. Therefore, people with metabolic syndrome should focus on aspects that may be changed, such as nutrition and exercise. Metabolic syndrome can be treated with a healthier lifestyle. Losing weight and eating a proper diet can help. So can quitting smoking and managing stress. Medications can also play a role. They control things like cholesterol and blood pressure. Your healthcare provider can create a plan that is right for you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support us to learn more. Thank you.